They needed to add to their bullpen. And from what we're hearing, Ken Rosenthal just minutes ago saying they're, they're close, they're in talks, to acquiring Shane Green. How much does that change the way we view the Atlanta Braves if they get Shane Green for the Detroit Tigers? I still like them as a playoff team, but this, to me, makes them a little more dangerous of a team in the postseason. I mean, Shane Green, you can trust right now. Luke Jackson, you hope he can get it done. Mm -hmm. He's got an unbelievable slider. I get it. But we haven't seen him in big spots a lot, certainly not in October. We've seen Shane Green out there closing how many games this year? 23, 24. And it's been really, really good. Yeah. So I think it's a fit that has to happen. The Tigers should be moving Shane Green. Yeah, the Braves did get Chris Martin. I don't know what kind of impact that is, but this Shane Green would be a, a monstrous impact, no doubt. It's happening, and Buster Olney of ESPN confirming what I reported earlier. He says it's done pending a medical review. You can see the tweet right there from earlier. Now, the names going back to the Tigers, I do not know yet, and it sounds like that's a little bit fluid, but again, medical review, which means it's an agreement in place and headed toward the finish line. Okay, um, Shane Green to a team that blew a two-run lead in the ninth inning this afternoon, less than an hour ago. Shane Green, who's been so good for the Detroit Tigers, uh, he's the biggest name that's been moved. And you look at the, the, the reliever list, Dan, this is this is the, a marquee guy, and the Braves got one. They did. Puts more pressure on the other clubs now, still looking for that guy, i.e. the Dodgers, because that's one more guy off the board. Though they may have Shane Green with some of the arms they have. Um, but you're right, Greg, that's just one more one more guy off the board. Mm -hmm. And it's good to see if you're a fan of, of a team like the Atlanta Braves, while we like the, the stuff that Sean Newcomb has, while we like Luke Jackson, they needed someone that seems like he's comfortable in that role. You know what I, I was looking at when you had that board up there? Very well done, by the way, Greg. I like that. Well, thanks. Um, I thought the Nationals did what the Braves should have done. I looked at the arms that the Nationals added, and watching those two teams play today, that's going to be down the stretch. They did a better job with the bullpen than the Braves did, I thought. Really? Think yeah, so? I would go I the other way. I, I think Shane Green just gives you more reliability. It seems like the Nationals went for quantity mm -hmm. and hoping some of these guys are going to work out for them. But it was interesting that board you showed with all the relief pitchers, and certainly the Nationals have a ton of them here. I'm not even sure who's going to end up being on their roster. There. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, that board we showed of relief pitchers, top relief pitchers, Green was the only one, but we saw a lot of – Say setup guys moved, right? right? This is what the game is. Remember, first time in 50 years, relief pitching is worse than starting pitching. Mm -hmm. And certainly we don't see bats being moved. We see Green at the top of relief pitchers. But a lot of teams now are looking for matchup guys because bullpens are getting hammered this year. I mean, it's true every year people want relief pitchers at the deadline, but especially true this year.